I'm Dr. Paul White, co-author of The Five Languages of Appreciation in the Workplace with Dr. Gary Chapman. And I want to talk to you about an experience and really a frustrating experience that some managers and supervisors have in the workplace. And that is the experience that no matter what they do or say, one or maybe more of their employees don't seem to believe them, they don't trust them, they have a negative response, and you just aren't getting anywhere. It can be really frustrating to do what you hear and believe are the right things to do, to do it repeatedly, and you don't get anything positive back. It's discouraging. Let me help you understand one reason. It's often not the most common reason, but it, it, it's one that's underneath the surface, and that sometimes there are some people that no matter what you do or say, it's really hard for them to trust you and believe that you mean what you say. And it's not about you. It's really about them and their history and what they're bringing to the current place of employment. It may be history at a previous employer. It could be history at their current employer, but maybe with a different manager or supervisor, where they essentially got burnt. You know, that they trusted a person, they weren't treated well, they maybe even got sort of stabbed in the back. And so they've come to not trust managers, quote unquote, uh, in general. It may not even be work-based. It could be more from their personal history. There are some people, unfortunately, that have grown up in really dysfunctional homes, and dysfunctional meaning not functioning well, according to reality, where they had a situation where, let's say it was a divorce situation that one of their parents wasn't there um, in the home and made frequent promises to come to their birthday party, to give them Christmas gifts, and they didn't follow through on those. And so over a period of time, they came to not appreciate authority figures, either male if it was their father or female if it was their mother. And if you sort of match that personality or person type, if you're a male supervisor or female supervisor and that was their experience, they're having a hard time dealing with you. They're seeing potentially you know, the, the issues that they've grown up with. So one of the things I would encourage you to do is hang in there. The way that people learn to trust over time is through ex repeated experiences that validate that you are going to fall through on what you say you're going to do. It may take a long time. It could take months. It could even take years. But hang in there. Keep doing it because you know it's the right thing to do and get encouragement from others uh, and validate that. And don't worry about their response. Just try to be cheerful and, and encouraging to them. And hopefully over time, they'll see that you really do care about them. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.